So we're here with Sonny Taylor today in Hull. We've done a little bit of filming with him. First of mate, how are you? Alright? Not so bad, mate. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, man. I'm good, thank you. So obviously we've spent the, the day today. Obviously you're training later. Um, first, obviously you've got a fight in six weeks. You looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time out. Eight months, I think, since my last one. Um, so I, I feel like it's about time I need to gather some steam, get a bit of momentum and then get back into it, I suppose. So obviously eight. Eight months is a long time. Kind of how you've been kind of ticking along. Obviously, you've got a bit frustrated that you haven't really had a fight date yet. Yeah, there's been a lot, a lot going on behind, behind the scenes and whatever. So I can't really complain too much because I've had a lot to deal with. Um, but now, now that's all coming to an end, uh, I, I can uh, sort of concentrate my boxing a bit more and get going with that. So obviously, seven professional fights so far. How would you kind of assess your your learning so far in your professional career? Because obviously, you haven't had a lot. You didn't have a lot of a lot of amateur experience. How would you kind of say that you're, you're learning so far in professional boxing has gone? Uh, yeah, so I've had, I've had limited ring time fighting, um, but I've had a lot, a lot of sparring with um, some of the best fighters in the world. So I, I've been doing most of my learning there. Um, but now because I've had all that sparring, I can take my foot off the gas with it a bit, and I can do all my learning in the fights and in training, you know, brush up on my boxing, because I know I can stand there and fight, but I need to do the cuter stuff now. So obviously now on to obviously a bit of a change that you've had in used to obviously be at Vulcan Boxing and stuff like that. Obviously you've had a bit of a change in your career now, you've obviously gone to um, join with Tommy Coyle and his team. Do you want to quickly explain the reasoning behind that? Yeah, I was, I was at um, Vulcan for a long time, seven years. Um, and, and you know, I, 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 I've done a lot there and, and, and I'm as good as I am now due to the work they've done with me down there. Um, but it, it was time for a change up. I, I was lo losing, losing sight of of my boxing really and getting a bit fed up and you know clock watching in the gym and stuff like that so I needed to I needed to change something and freshen it up so I, I decided to move down with Tommy um, and training's been for, for this fight it's been class and I'm looking forward to show what I've been learning in, 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 in the fight so obviously you've only been there for now about two three weeks would you say obviously still brand new to it all I don't know what you're saying now that you, the camp's gone really well so far but I was obviously settling in obviously got like to Conor Coggill down there and um, what has it kind of been so far settling in? Because it can be very new, can't it? Settling in with new people and stuff like that. Have you kind of. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, me, well, to be fair, me, me Tommy, and Connor, we, we, we've known each other for for years. Um, we, we all started out at St Paul's, um, so so we're not like strangers to each other. We've always known who each other are, and it's it's like sort of it's 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 good because it's it's exciting to to be training around people who you mates with, but you never necessarily trained with them before. A bit of friendly competition as well, you know. If I do something better than Connor, he wants to do better, and when he's faster than me or does something better than me, I want to do better than him. So obviously, on to your fight now. Um, so obviously, six weeks to go. Obviously, you've had seven fights now, and obviously you've got the fact that you've had eight eight months out of the ring, you kind of maybe, obviously, you're having them little step ups there and then. Have you kind of maybe got to kind of start, obviously, with a new trainer now, start back at. Square one, maybe as you say, or are you kind of still going off that eight fight eight months ago. Yeah, uh, well, the, the the fight I had eight months ago after was a, again a last minute opponent, so he won he won, won a great opponent for me, and I kind of got him out. Of, well, sec, was it the second round I think I got him out of there? So it was it. We're the best respects in the world, Tim. It, it won't it won't make a hard night's work for me. So hopefully I, I do have a step up from that, but. I don't want to overstep the mark because, like I say, it's been eight months out, so I'm going to be a bit rusty. But you know, I'd, I'd like someone that's going to that's going to turn up and give it a good go. So obviously, onto the fight itself. Obviously, you've been handing out some tickets this morning. Yeah. In your hometown of Hull, obviously, you've got a few fights here now. Um, obviously, the first time fighting at the venue that you're fighting at, you said you compared it to like a, a your call. Do you reckon? Uh, are you looking forward to obviously some of your fans coming down? Yeah, fans, definitely. Friends and family coming down watching. Um, all City Hall, there's always been boxing there, um, but I've just never been part of it. So I've, I've always seen the shows there, and when I was growing up, you know, Tommy Coyle and, and Samir Monemone, there, there was all boxing there, and I used to be seeing the posters and stuff everywhere. City Hall show, Showdown, I think they used to call them. Um, so I've always known about it, and I've always wanted to be part of it, and until now it's never happened, so I'm, I'm really excited. And I know, I know from the shows I've seen there, the atmosphere's been class, so I'd like to take my fan base down there and, and you know we'll get it bouncing. So obviously just quickly now obviously the, the era of obviously like Tommy Coyle and, and Luke Campbell now is obviously they've both retired now. Does that give you a bit of maybe motivation obviously looking at what they've done in their careers obviously putting Hall on the map 
um, with regards to boxing. Is that kind of your inspiration? Thinking I want to be what I I want to be what they did, achieve what they did. Obviously, in your own town of all. Hundred um, percent. There's a gap in the market, and, and we've got some really good fighters now um, looking to break through. So we've got there's me, there's Connor, Louis Sylvester, Hash Raymond. Um, we're all really good, solid lads, um, and and all coming from Hull. And th like there's big books to fill, but I, th I think we're more than capable of doing it. Yeah. So obviously down to yourself, obviously now just quickly. Um, like I said, popular lad in all, obviously. Started boxing just to get out of obviously trouble and stuff like that. Do you want to explain a little bit about your story um, of getting into boxing? Yep. Yeah, so I'd, I'd I'd boxed when I was really really little, um, and I had a few fights when I was a junior, and I, I, I must have chucked it when I was like 13, 14. Um, and then, and then, got into a bit of bother. Like, wasn't great at school. W once I left school, did like an apprenticeship, but wasn't really into it. And I was going out on a weekend, getting into trouble, fighting, up to no good. Maybe knocking around with the wrong people. I won't say led astray because I'm of my own mind. You know, I make my own mind up. But you know, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And I won't surround myself with great people, to be honest. So I'd, I'd made a lot of mistakes and. I eventually got into a, a bit of serious bother. I was in and out, in and out of court. Um, nearly gone to prison. Um, was doing community service, and I'd done some of the community service down the boxing gym, and so I had like a bit of an epiphany. I was, I was thinking, what am I doing community service for? Outside here, when I could be inside there doing some boxing. And I started again, um, and then caught the bug back for it really, and never looked back. And here I am, what well, maybe eight years on. Professional boxer, undefeated, uh, looking to fight for titles in the next year. Would you say that kind of boxing saved you from kind of going down a bad path? Yeah, I know it's cliche to say, and every every other boxer has has that same story, but it's because it's true. Do you know what I mean? It, it is a it's rags to riches. Is 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 boxing? Not saying I'm rich, but I am in life now. If that makes sense. Brilliant. So obviously now, just finally, um, obviously, obviously your eighth professional fight in six weeks' time. Is the plan obviously to take little steps due to obviously not having much amateur experience, but eventually, like I said, you want to be fighting for them titles. Have you got kind of a plan about when you when you really want to fight for them titles? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm going to say I want to fight this guy, I want to fight this guy, I want, I'm going to beat him, I'm going to beat him. I've got I've got to stay in my own lane and develop at the right pace. But I do feel like I'm as good as the rest of them, if not better. So with the right fights at the right time, I'll be in there amongst them sooner rather than later. And I think I'll be upsetting a few people. Brilliant. So obviously. Six weeks time, whole, is it the whole city venue? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, urging people to come down and support. You still selling? I'm still selling a lot of tickets. Like yeah, still got a few tickets left. Um, I've sold a lot, but there's more to be sold. So all city all, second of July. Get yourselves down and uh, expect some big punches to be thrown. Oh yeah. Cheers, Sonny. Cheers, man.